All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, before we get started, I'm just gonna go through something that I've created myself the past couple weeks. It's a website where you can check out my models and um, texturing and uh, just kind of get a feel for what I do myself. And you guys can uh, send me an email if you want to uh, purchase a 3D model uh, with texturing as well. Uh, I got some information about that here um, and just a general look over of my uh, information you can check out my portfolio here it sends you to a google drive link where you can check out all of the um all of the uh models that i've done um in the past so these are just kind of some of the uh models that i've um selected to be in my portfolio they're probably some of the best ones i've done so um yeah just hit me up if you need anything anyway so video for today is um, how to model a 787. Um, we're going to do this in a few steps. It requires some diagrams and um, previous blender skills and knowledge already. Um, I'm not here to um, teach beginners how to do certain key commands and such. You can look that up yourself on Google. Um, I'm just here to kind of share some technique and um, yeah so anyway um, first things first go to uh, norabo.com they have great diagrams um, norabo is uh, definitely the best for either purchasing aircraft diagrams or just using fairly low resolution ones I don't know why this is a thing 707 max <laughs> um, yeah anyway great diagrams you can go to the top of the page search whatever you want a350 they may not have the a350 oh yeah look at that they do anyway we're gonna go with the 787 today um, first things first start off with a 32 vert cylinder rotate at 90 degrees uh, look up your aircraft dimensions. In this case, the 787 is 63 meters long. Obviously, it's going to be much taller than that. So we'll kind of resize until we get something we kind of like. So like there. Um, scale your um, diagrams, of course. That looks good to me. We'll push it back a bit so it's away from the model. Um, great. So, that's the side view. We're going to go ahead and uh, apply the scale to it. That way, it's uh, if, you either, if you ever use it in-game, it's, it's up to scale. Um, now, another thing you're going to want is the cross-section of the airplane before we go any further. So, cross-section. So look up the cross section. Um, basically, all that is is something like this, uh, just the general shape of the fuselage. Um, can't find a whole lot, to be honest. This is a seven eight seven ten. It's probably the same as what we're gonna want. Uh, it's an eight seven. Doesn't specify seven nine seven concept. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm just gonna go with this one. It may not be exact, although it may be. Who knows? Anyway, we're gonna go with this one. Save it to my desktop for now. Um, so front view, drag that in there. Scale it up a bit so that it matches. Um, of course, this is going to be slightly less tall. So match the height and the length. We're going to have to put that 63 in again. Match that up. Cool. Grab the cross section. Pull it back a bit. Now grab your... Actually, we're going to have to scale it again. And... That looks good to me. Okay, um, 
Now it seems that the 787 is fairly circular for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with other aircraft, it, it won't be it won't be like this. Um, I know a couple are for sure, um, including the set, uh, the triple seven. But um, anyway, we're gonna hide that picture for now so we get it out of the way. Uh, shade smooth. Etc. Etc. Apply the scale again because we changed the height. Okay. Now this is where it can kind of get tough. Um, forget the fact that this is a 32 um, vertice cylinder. We're gonna actually subsurf it into 64 soon. Um, so yeah, this is all still. Um, a circular section of the aircraft. Essentially what we're doing here is just getting basic points for how it's shaped and then we'll go from the top view get a diagram for that and then it should kind of play itself out from there when, when we hit subsurf back here we're gonna go place a loop cut there scale that down to the APU right on and we'll just drop one more between these windows Okay, so that's the general shape we want. I'm going to go find a top-down view. Okay, now I have found uh, an image we're going to use. It's not great, though. You can probably find one better than what I found. Um, this is supposed to be the dash 9. match it up tail the nose as best you can and then make sure it's way down there and honestly since the 787 is so aerodynamic there isn't a whole lot going on um, in terms of <laughs> different shapes such as like this or that um, very aerodynamic airplane. You're not going to find a whole lot of uh, problems on that end. And I think right about now we can delete these faces off the ends. Keeping the vertices there. We don't want to do that. And then over in the modifiers tab hit subdivide. Now you're going to notice that it's going to want to make a big sort of down slope here towards the center of the airplane. Just make another loop cut and drag it into that one. Same thing back here on the bottom you can see it. Drag it into that one. And then from there you can do some adjustments. So already I don't like how this is turning out. We'll increase that. Maybe make another cut in there. The nose might have a uh, a little bit of high poly to it, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so now what we're doing is just making sure it matches up fairly well with our top and side view. Um, for the most part, I'm happy with this. You will have to do quite a bit of adjusting though. <laughs> Quite a bit of adjusting while keeping in mind that the more loop cuts you make, the more out of shape it's going to get since subdivide kind of tries to find the median between the, uh, the two previous cuts you've made. So kind of like that, it's sort of getting there. 
Um, another thing to keep in mind is to not, uh, my blender keeps glitching out, <laughs> is to not apply the subdivide, the subdivision until, um, until you're happy with the outcome. And honestly, it's probably better to just make another collection down here of your, um, we'll call it pre-apps, your pre-applieds. Uh, just in case you want to go back and edit something if it doesn't match up with something like your cockpit windows etc um, so yeah it's just kind of adding a few loop cuts here and there that may make the model look better and adjusting a few things So at the moment, I am pretty happy with that. We're gonna go down here and make another one, push it forward a bit, maybe downscale it slightly. The nose is a little pointy, so um, it's gonna add a loop cut there. And we'll add one more, why not? Just to get rid of that pointiness. Cool. Now for the back section, actually looks pretty good already. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. We can just edit some of this a little bit. Um, keep in mind when you're when you're doing this, you're probably gonna want to do it a little slower to make sure that you do have everything correct. Um, I'm not aiming for perfection here. Um, I just I'm aiming for perfection more towards the uh, um, in terms of the video and how people use it for their own being. Okay, so generic seven eight seven fuselage shape. Couple things I can fix here and there. Can honestly, probably even make this a little more scaled up. Same with that. Okay, so that's something I'm willing to work with. Um, what we're going to do is control C over to our pre apps, paste it in there in case we want to edit anything in the future. Now, back up to here, we're going to hit apply. Now, our subdivision has been applied and it's now a 64 vertice fuselage um, in terms of each cut. So, that is that. Um, back here, you know, we might want to might have wanted to add another one just because you can kind of tell where That uh, mesh is breaking a little bit But uh, th those things you can kind of just edit yourself um, You will notice in places you don't have loop cuts such as here. It's a long distance of uh, No cuts and you will see these lines so you can add a couple if you need um, just to get rid of those and uh, yeah so that's that what's next what's next what's next next is the cockpit windows now cockpit windows something I didn't cover too well in my last videos cockpit windows are very specific in terms of um, aerodynamics so um, best thing to do is grab quite a few pictures um, of airplanes that's a good picture there of the airplane you're, you're doing so here's a picture it is it's not um, at a distance though which could be an issue 
um, because you can kind of tell that someone took this up close, which kind of shapes the, the windows a little odd. But um, I'm going to use it just for now. It's going to change a lot of shaping that way, though, which is the problem. Uh, so, okay, so in terms of the 787, uh, the windows follow the contour of the fuselage itself. So. Um, when you're doing it, you don't have to worry about adjusting too much of this this area at all, so like these places. Um, it's more or less. It's kind of like, honestly, most airplanes these days are like that, like the A220. Uh, same same uh, um, curvature in the in the uh, windows. Um, so what we're gonna do. Is try to find it maybe a little bit of a better picture to use for the windows there. Something from a distance that we can use so that it's not out of proportion. That looks like a good picture. Save the picture. It's from quite a ways back. Hide that one. Throw this in. And it is centered for the most part. <laughs> it's as center as it, it's as center as it, ugh, if I can speak. It's as centered as it'll get. So right about there. Now, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to grab a plane. Uh, while still looking at pictures on my other screens, we're just gonna get this plane set up. Actually, I guess you can just make a cube. To be honest, because we're gonna be making bevels and such. So this is the center of the aircraft. This this point here, this line. Uh, you kind of need to figure out if you're gonna have two of these cubes like this. How far away? You kind of gotta take into consideration the um, window dividers like this area um, so what we're gonna do is take it from there kinda just outline the window to be honest um, you will see on the 8.7 there is quite a bit of different contour in these windows which is also um, part of the, de the design and making and making it aerodynamic and such lots of pictures are great for this because if you don't have lots of pictures you're not going to go very <laughs> very far um, apply the scale Grab the edge, um, the edge select. We're just going to grab all four corners and bevel. Use your scroll wheel to make the uh, amount of segments. Um, it may change, to be honest, with uh, the shaping of this this window I'm just looking at some pictures here like this one uh, okay so before we do that we're gonna go back up here uh, the 87 does have some interesting some interesting uh, contouring Kind of like this. Make, maybe make another couple loop cuts in there. Drag them up. A couple more, maybe. This is just to get the precision factor correct when we're doing this. Okay, now we're going to grab these two. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We'll go with five segments for this this uh, 
window bevel. Now, you can kind of edit and undo this as much as you want until you're happy with it. Let's try that again. I wasn't happy with that one. Maybe a little bigger of a bevel. So there, we'll say. Okay, fairly happy with that. Now we'll grab these two. Those might be a touch bigger. Okay, so already I'm liking this, this window shape. Uh, we're not going to boolean this in if that's what you think I'm doing with this cube. We're going to knife project it. Um, now it's kind of about finding the actual height of this here window. So that looks good to me, to be honest. We're going to delete this back half. I only used the cube so I could do the beveling. So now it's just a plane, obviously. Select it all, press F, that'll get rid of the cuts in there. Um, now, keep in mind that this did change a bit, this picture. Since it's kind of, it actually is on an angle, so it would be more like this. We're going to go ahead and just set our 3D cursor to zero. Set the origin to the 3D cursor. Mirror that window over. So that does look a little better now. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. And then from here, we'll grab the windows, then hold shift and select the fuselage. So now you have both selected. Tab into edit mode. Use mesh, knife project. So now you're left with that. Now, obviously, that doesn't look like the 787 windows. So <laughs> it, it is a little uh, a little off there, I must say. You know, maybe not. They definitely do look a little um, wider than that. If I was going to look at the real airplane. They definitely do seem like they should be more like this. So that could just be, since the mesh is a little odd, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, we may have to go back and edit that, because that doesn't really look too good right now. Hmm. How do we fix that? It may it it may be correct. I don't think it is. No, I really don't think it is. Okay, so here's what we can do. So since we know that that's not right, we can start grabbing some of these faces and pulling them back a little, just to make the the uh, windows come out, come back a touch. So actually, if we're gonna do that. Ah, see, this is where it gets kind of kind of difficult. You're gonna have to play with some things a little bit. If we pull these back, it's gonna want to pull the windows back. So continuing to do that may play an effect on the way they look. I already brought these back too far. I have to do the same here. And this is a this is an airplane I've never attempted to do before, so it may look a little odd. <laughs> so like if I'm if I'm gonna knife project this now, I know I know the mesh isn't right. I'm just seeing, I'm trying to see it. That looks better, for sure, than what it did. So I think we're gonna go with that. Now I just gotta edit all this. So if we go with that, it means these are gonna have to go back a little. Not a lot, a little. 
I'm gonna try starting to round this out a little now. Kinda like so. Bring these back to the line up. This will start to look a little funky though. Scale it up. Maybe not that much. Yeah, maybe actually. Bring it up. I'm thinking I'm going to have to scale all of this up. It's an odd airplane shape. Very odd. Sorry, I'm just trying to kind of eyeball it at the same time and trying to keep it looking decent. <laughs> I project eh, it's getting there. We did move it back a little. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the side windows first. We're going to keep those there though. Um, so the side windows, same thing, grab a cube. Um, look at your, look at your real, your real uh, images or you won't have fun with this at all. Make sure they la uh, line up with the top of those fairly well. Yep. Top of those, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. Okay. That starts a little bit back there, comes up. You, on the other hand, go there. You're back. You're gonna come up and around, sort of like this. Scale it. And we're gonna do the bevels now, so. Go with this one first just to get that over with. And that next. Then we'll go with these two. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> that one there. Then we'll go with this top one. That side one. Okay, so I think I went a little too far with that. Bring that back. We can rotate that slightly while, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe like that, yeah. Bevel that. Now we'll get rid of the whole backside front. Uh, we'll, what we'll do is get rid of that vertice there. Grab it all, hit F. And actually we'll just merge that. So if I'm gonna knife project this now, I want that to go in there. 
So project. That shapes what I'm looking for. Where it sits is, n I don't really like. So, okay, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna completely delete those two uh, cuts there. Just, actually I should probably show you what I did there. Selected both, hit F3, type in bridge, hit enter. Now we can just kind of merge those together while still looking good with one cut there. Okay, let's try this again. Knife project from the front view, it's still way too far out. So this is kind of indicating to me that um, this cut needs to be skinnier at places. So maybe there, I can kind of make this one a little skinny too. Just skinny them all up a little bit. Now if we try it again, it should push the window in a little bit. This is the, this is the part that takes the most time when uh, when modeling an aircraft and honestly you could probably just do this and then work around it if that's how you want to do things actually I might do that myself okay yeah actually we're gonna push this in hitting G and X now, it may not look pretty now, but it will. <laughs> so, what we're actually going to do is just mirror the entire aircraft. So, I'll go ahead, just get this window prepped a little. Come in here, grab everything. We're going to chop this plane right in two. Chop it in half. Mirror modifier. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, I see. I just left that. Mirror modifier. Is that an empty face? Nope. Okay. This guy, move him in. It's not gonna look good at all right now, but it will. This guy, move him in as well. Move that guy in, that guy. Okay, so already that is kinda cleaned up. I could probably clean it up even more. Uh, you know what? There. Now we will adjust this mesh to match that contouring as well. Um, just make sure you have it at uh, the angles you would need it to be. Push that back just kind of slowly round it out matching the mesh as best you can is a good start so already that's kind of taking pretty good shape actually It's just something you gotta play with a lot. 
to get right, especially on a, on a, an airplane like this one. You will struggle getting that, getting these angles correct. And this is something that you could probably do with subsurf, but I haven't dared to try it. <laughs> um, again, it's just kind of matching up these lines with what you have right now. Now, just recognize that every curve isn't going to be perfect because metal does get shifted in the, the making. On purpose, of course. Kind of like so. Geez, that window actually does look pretty good. <laughs> uh, I just grabbed all those and shrunk them together. That one. That one. Now these may change when I do the forward cockpit windows this will most likely change just because the, the forward ones are kind of a pain as we've discovered what's going on here can be fixed, will be fixed. Uh, let's see. We can slowly actually start contouring these outward. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what these, with these uh, big windows uh, uh, again. So that's already looking pretty good. Um, lots of things to uh, consider when you're doing this. There's probably better ways to do it but I prefer to just kind of do it all by uh, by hand you can play with the uh, the general shape there it doesn't need to be perfect I mean like I said, a lot of the stuff will change pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that for now. Uh, there will be quite a bit of changes to come. I'm just thinking if I even like this. That can be pushed down. Um, a lot of the window will need to be kind of flattened out. Probably do that now. Hmm. Okay. Good. Just move him in a little more. Good. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, so that actually looks pretty good already. Um, what I'm gonna do is just draw a line here so I can get these um, very linear. Just so that they're not uh, making the cockpit windows curved in any way possible. And then find that line, delete it. Um, actually, I might want to keep it for a second. No, alright, looks good. So that's that window done. Now, it may still look sloppy from over here. Um, we can go ahead and clean that up. By just moving even more of this mesh. We want to get it looking really good. That way it's not going to look awkward in a, in a simulator or a game or... Um, just any type of um, display, I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so that's not bad. Now, it does look a little crappy right now. We'll go ahead and fix that at a different time, maybe. But there, there's uh, there's lots to do here. Um, you can't just do this all in one sitting. That's for sure. So let's try that window again. Does that look any better? I don't know. Actually, it does look pretty good. It looks really good, to be honest. The side view looks great from the front. Looks great. Uh, um, actually, I think I might just keep that. Let's see it one more time. And oh, actually, that's something that might need to be changed. Okay, back to the window. We're just gonna make sure it lines up a little better here so that it's parallel ish with that. Okay, good. Do the knife project again. Cool. Trash that object now. Now we're going to come in here, make that uh, line again. From this side, we're going to go match it up here. In the front, seems to be good. Now find that long line, delete it. And boom. Now if we go ahead, look at our wireframe, we can see that we have a pretty good display of cockpit windows here. Um, of course there's always improvement in a, in a 3D model, but um, I'm pleased with this for now. stuff to be done here so we can move those in a little um, so yeah this is this is a, a challenge for anyone really I mean I've been modeling for over a couple of years now and I still find I find stuff like this difficult. Not not so much difficult, but time consuming. 
you really gotta want to have the time and uh, motivation to pull stuff like this off. So yeah, I'm gonna hit apply on that mirror modifier. Here's where we're at now. It may look a little weird at some angles, like uh, just looking at this side here. It might look a little funny. But um, for the most part, pretty good. If we take a look, how does it look from the side? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, what you can do is merge some of these vertices in. It will smoothen out your uh, topology a little bit. Um, yeah, and just find those uh, references for the for the airplane, and you should 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 be able to get these windows in place. So if I go ahead and select. All of these, all of these, all of those, and some of these guys. We'll hit P, make them their own. Now you can see that's a 787-ish. <laughs> Preview mode. You can tell that that's a 787, I would think. It does look a little weird still, though, for some reason. You can't put a finger on it. Why does that look weird? Oh, that's why. So these little points, I guess what we can do is grab them, pull them forward a little. And that one is a bit of an issue. Slide them back. Those two need to come up a bit. Now this will make your mesh a little odd looking at some places throughout the model. That looks better. Um, but you can see we have these kind of weird marks and stuff here. Um, if you just add some cuts, actually I guess in this case we can't really add any. Uh, we can, we can make them with uh, just putting individual verts in and then just joining them up. That already got rid of that one. Um, but yeah, so that's, you're, you're on your way to uh, getting those windows how you want them. Still look a little funny to me for some reason. Uh, we can go ahead and set the origin to them. I feel like if they were squished more. It'll look a little better. Maybe not. Anywho, we'll pick up in the uh, in, a, in the next video um, from where we left off at today. Just gonna go ahead and um, stop it here. We'll pick up in the next one. Be sure to uh, check out my website that I put up. 
uh, be much appreciated if you have any questions need me to make any models for you go ahead and stop by It'd be cool you can send me an email here and uh, yeah thanks for watching